Ex-Hollyoaks actress Rachel Shenton has come a long way from Chester after winning her first Oscar at this year's ceremony. The 30-year-old Stoke-born actress, who was known to most as Mitzi Miniver in the Channel 4 soap, was shaking as she accepted her award with fiancé Chris Overton at tonight's ceremony. Rachel accepted her award by making her speech in sign language to thank the Academy and those who helped her get her award for Best Live Action Short Film. The silent child tells the story of four-year-old Libby, who is taught sign language by her social worker as she can't speak. She picked up her award alongside her fiancé Chris Overton, who worked on the film with her. Speaking on the stage, she said, I made a promise to our six-year-old lead actress that I would sign this speech but my hands are shaking a little bit, so I apologize. Our movie is about a deaf child being born into a world of silence. It's not exaggerated or sensationalized for the movies this is happening. Rachel learned sign language following the death of her father, who lost his hearing after having chemotherapy when she was just 12. Millions of children all over the world live in silence and face communication barriers, and particularly access to education. So deafness is a silent disability, you can't see it and it's not life-threatening, so I want to say the biggest of thank yous for the Academy for allowing us to put this in front of a mainstream audience," she added. The pair also thanked their parents and those who helped fund the project on Indiegogo, which helped them create the film on a £10,000 budget. The Shape of Water won the biggest gong of the night tonight as they backed Best Film in the final award of the night. While three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri was the expected winner of the gong, the film still took home some of the biggest awards of the evening including Sam Rockwell for Best Supporting Actor and Frances McDormand for Best Leading Actress. As she accepted her award, Frances took the moment to celebrate women who were nominated, and in a bold statement in the midst of the Time's Up movement, invited all female nominees to stand in solidarity with her during her speech. The British also won big during the evening, with World War II epics Dunkirk and The Darkest Hour both bringing home a number of gongs. After decades in the industry, Gary Oldman finally achieved his first Oscar for his portrayal of Winston Churchill in The Darkest Hour. The star found her name as the troublesome Mitzi in Hollyoaks Jennifer Lawrence has been having the time of her life at this year's Oscars. Earlier in the evening, she was spotted climbing over chairs while holding onto a glass of wine. Jimmy has returned to host the Swanky Awards ceremony for a second year and wow the audience in the Dolby Theatre and at home with his opening monologue. For many, as well as the night's big winners, it was all about the fashion. Gal Gadot and Margot Robbie topped the best dress lists with their glamorous gowns. But not everyone hit the spot with their style choices and Selma Hayek and Nicole Kidman were panned by the fashion pack. For those not invited to the swanky ceremony, there were plenty of parties going on and some of the biggest names in showbiz flocked to them throughout the night. Nicole Scherzinger and Heidi Klum led the way at Elton John's bashed out while Isla Fisher and Olivia Munn showed off their classic Hollywood style at the Vanity Fair Oscars bash. Got a story? Email digishowbiz at thesun.co.uk or call us direct on 0207. 782-4220 We pay for videos to click here to upload yours.